homes flooded, thousands of people evacuated, entire regions underwater and completely cut off. Devastating scenes as Cyclone Gabrielle sweeps over the east coast. About 25,000 people are now displaced. Extensive road closures have cut off many East Coast communities. The Hawke's Bay continues to grapple with power and communications outages while there's critical shortages of drinking water and food. Here in Auckland, a number of communities remain cut off from the rest of the city, Piha being one of them. We've tried to access the beach through multiple routes today and all roads have been closed from flooding and slips like the one behind me. Many of the residents on this road have evacuated out of caution, while the ones who have stayed are still without power. Pretty horrible, pretty horrible. You know, seeing your neighbours have to um, leave. Pretty eerie, pretty, you know, pretty creepy, you know, quiet, no more street lights, and uh, quiet and dark. And uh, these are about the only people besides the people down there and the guy across here that um, hadn't been affected, you know. Cassandra Robson was rescued along with her six year old daughter from their Karikari home. We luckily enough were taken back with them um, through Kerry Kerry. We had to go in a tiny little car and uh, with a cat, my daughter and two guys and they happened to use a tiny little car and then we came to the point uh, we had to come get out of the car and then we had to walk across and get out of the car because it was that dangerous that the cliff was going to fall on top of the car while we were in it. Yeah, we're lucky to be alive and there are people worse off than we are. We're just grateful and, yeah, thankful for an mm, incredible community as well coming to look for us and make sure that we're safe. And now let's do the same for other people. They're now staying with friends, but not everyone's had a place to go. Many of the residents who were evacuated from the area are now here at the Trust Arena in West Auckland. One minute the numbers are high, one minute the numbers are low, which reflects that people are being rehoused or rehomed, they're being white sticker, they can go home, and so on and so forth. So at any given time, uh, the count is quite fluid. It's a huge operation. I mean, at the moment, we've got 400 beds that are out. That's the capacity at the moment. However, we do sleep up to 5,000. Uh, so at any given time, we can scale up, we can scale down. We have access to up to 200 volunteers and people that are trickling in every day saying, we can volunteer, sign us up, we're here to help. So in terms of that undertaking, um, it really does take a village and this uh, mega site simply could not operate without uh, the goodwill and the support of all of our, all of our volunteers. Gabrielle has so far taken the lives of two people in the Hawke's Bay, while a body has been found in the area where rescuers were searching for a missing firefighter in Murawai. It's our deepest condolences to the family, to the community, and of course to all volunteers and emergency services. This is no doubt will hit hard. More than 200 military personnel have been stationed to get supplies to areas that need help, with a dozen helicopters working around the clock to rescue trapped residents in isolated areas. Communities up and down the country banding together to get through the storm of the century. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.